want to find the p-value for a t-table, for example, when the sample standard deviation is given and we have a t-test statistic. Now this p-value is found in a similar way than when we found the area with z-scores. We're using second VARS, second is true, the menu comes up and we scroll down to number six, which is TCDF and press enter. So the syntax would be the lower bound, comma, the upper bound, and then the degrees of freedom. So A, we're going to look at a left tail test when the alternative hypotheses, for example, some mean is less to some numbers. So the test statistic will be negative 2.05 with a sample size of 15, and we're looking for a left tail test. So what we need to enter first is our lower bound, which is negative 9,999 since we have a left tail test, comma, then we enter the upper bound which is negative 2.05, comma, and the sample size is 16, that makes the decrease of freedom 15, close the parentheses, press enter, and we see that the p-value is 0 0.291. Make sure that you're considering rounding rules. So now our second case is we're looking at a right tail test where the alternative hypotheses, for example, the mean is greater to some number and the test statistic now is 1.95 with a sample size of 36. So we go back to second, VARS, scroll down to number 6, press enter. Now, since we're looking for an area to the right, the lower bound is the test statistic, which is 1.95, comma, the upper bound is 9,999, comma, the degrees of freedom, 35, close the parentheses, and now press enter, and the test statistic is 0 0.296, depending on your rounding rules. That's how you find p-values for either a left tail test or a right tail test.